It was January, the hangover month, if you will, and my TV brother and I had just wiped 2013 out of our eyes and were looking forward to 2014, if only for the new registration stickers at the DMV. We're glad you came along. This is the Adventures of Danny and Mike, the podcast. Episode 5 of The Adventures of Danny and Mike. If you're hearing this in Mike's mic, you can probably hear some chewing, and it is a Pop-Tart with butter that he's enjoying at the head of this podcast. No, it's not butter. Yeah, you buttered the Pop-Tart. I've never heard that in my life. It's not real butter. What is it, Smart Well, it's Country Crotch. Country Cock. Oh, it's Country country Cock Spread. (laughs) No, I said Crotch. Country Crotch? You made it weird. Anyway, it's a buttery spread. It's not an actual... What the fuck's going on here? This is episode five, guys. Let's keep it civil. Yeah, if you're listening to this, you are recovering from some sort of accident in the hospital, and we were able to save most of your leg. You're welcome, I guess, is what we should say. (laughs) My name is producer Jeremy. To my right, Danny Tamborelli. To his right is Mike Perona. Welcome to episode five of this Did you call him Perona It's Michael C. Michael Perona. He's he's the coach for the... uh, He's a Fox Sports News analyst. (laughs) Mike Perona. Hey, Michael Perona here. (laughs) <laughs> Maybe you sound like a South Park character. <laughs> How are you, fellas? What's going on other than the ingesting of a pop tart with butter on it and that you've toasted? I'm looking on and like disgust. Jeremy, why? Danny, I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, I you guys, to you guys were witness to my frame of mind when we disposed of the Cavalier the other day. Let me tell you, hmm. this this month's adventure is a heart wrenching thing. Mike, Mike uh, is saying goodbye to his. Il, let me get this right. Il Cavillario. Right? Oh, is that correct? Is that good? Il uh, Cavaliere. Italian? Yeah, my, Il, Il Cavaliere. Yeah, my 1992 <laughs> Cavalier had to go. So yeah, that was our that was their adventure this month. Is uh, Mike? We, we did a good uh, send off for his his car, which come along got... and ride on the wind. Ride, this, we, ride. this we were taking it on a final voyage, a really fantastic nothing, voyage. There was nothing either. that whimsical that went on. January is the month of. Early sunsets, dingy skies, dirty snow, frozen dog shit. It's really the hangover month, right? It's the hangover of Christmas. It's when you have to pay the bills for Christmas. and You're drunk on New Year's, and then all of a sudden you have to pay rent the next day. And you're like, why are you just having a party? And it's like, nobody... It's That's your first, landlord? That was your landlord character? Yeah, yeah but he's like, wake it's up, the wake up, wake up. It's, it's the first of the month. month. Nice, dude. We got- Two right, songs so in, right two songs in what? Uh, three minutes and 15 seconds. Not too shabby, guys. It was... That's a good one to, to reverence. It was a painful uh, separation, but it had to happen. Um, I think it's good that it happened in January. Um, yeah, it's it's good to shed the old and end with the new. I had often ridden my bike past that junkyard a couple of summers back and wondered about it, so it's cool that we went in and yeah. saw that huge thing oh, body, body slamming my car. Up. Oh, he's breaking up. <laughs> oh. So yeah, we, we well, we had it tagged. I guess that was the first thing we wanted to decorate it for its little funeral march. Yeah, we got we someone from some Smart Crew to... We took it to, to five points. Little... So if you're looking for that clean, seamless white background uh, behind the car, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's I mean, that's another good buy, too. too, a part of this whole thing, is that I'm glad we went there and, you know, go to the website, you'll see pictures of the, the tagged up car with the horrible white five points that it, that now uh, that it now adorns. It's horrible. It's, yeah. it's a bad thing. It's kind of like, like all the, the winter sweaters I discovered in the closet with moth holes on them that we <laughs> we packed into plastic bags and donated to the Salvation Army. That was Army part of the march. Later yeah. that day. It was sort of a, sort of a weird... Um, <clears throat> it was a good send-off. I, I feel like El Cavalieri is uh, very proud. Man, by the end of the podcast, maybe we'll get him to say El Cavalieri. <laughs> we could probably go visit him... You could probably, Kevel, you could probably still Blair. find it. It would be easy to pick it out if you're going down Metropolitan that's, Avenue, right before you get to Flushing Avenue. That's if you're not going a bad towards idea. Towards the cemetery, just like look, see if you can spot a graffiti. How about this? First listener that can find that smashed car gets a free prize, and it's probably just going to be like a hug. It doesn't. No, no, no. It doesn't. We will determine the prize mutually. Okay. <laughs> Danny's he needs a hug though. I can I, see it in his eyes. I don't need a hug. 
Thank you very much. January's well, you, not that bad of a month for me. Why? I don't know. Because you have to admit, like it's I did, every time it's January, I'm like, well, it's it's five weeks to my birthday. Yeah, you start to feel older. I was going to say, right? Either the Giants are in the playoffs or they're not. <laughs> yeah, it's either a positive yeah. January for that reason or it's not. Right. Exactly. And as I get older now, this this five weeks until doesn't feel as good as it used to. Cheers. Spirits are high. Spirits are no, we're not. That, that we're leaving our high spirits in, in December. Yeah, we're not. The spirits we're leaving aren't them in twenty. We're leaving them in twenty thirteen because we're talking about January. January being, is not a high. I agree. You're, you're calling it the, a hangover month, and now you're saying spirits are high. Well, sometimes you are have you a little bipolar? hair of the dog. Are you having? Are you having about about a depression? <laughs> that, I have hey, been depressed. Can, I've probably been depressed for about twenty one years. 20. When did it all start? Or when did it all go wrong? I guess I should ask. Uh, probably when I was born. <laughs> uh, I, I thought for sure you were going to be like, well... I was doomed. I was doing this show and I met this kid, Dan, and <laughs> from then on, oh, yeah. from that point forward... Oh, no, it, life, it, it, it uh, coincided. Uh, my right. parents got divorced soon after I met Danny, so I, he might he <laughs> might have something to do with it, but... Stock market collapsed that year yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say... There's a lot of things. Lot Actually, of Berlin things. Wall came down as well. So. Yeah. No, no, I'm kidding. This is two That's different, a good thing, two different years. Gosh. I didn't know no, that I had really... Yeah, I didn't yeah January I didn't is a depressing, all... depressing month, though. I'll, t- I'll take none of that, except for the Berlin Wall coming down. I'll take all the credit for Dude, that. Dude, that wasn't even on you. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? Everybody, uh, you need more, another Pop-Tart? Mike, you're completely out of Pop-Tarts at the moment. I cut the uh, second one into what eight this- pieces. You know, McDonald's advises you to cut your food into smaller pieces so it will stretch longer for their workers because they don't make enough money to buy enough oh, food yeah. to feed themselves. Yeah. So I just took no, their no, no, advice. No, McDonald's was saying was advising their employees to not eat McDonald's. Yes, also that. Which but I, it said, but is- it said the food that you do have, cut it oh, into cut smaller it into pieces. pieces because you can chew each one and then feel full on less food. I can vouch for that. I watched him do it. Cut it all up. Yeah, I noticed Why, you don't eat like that. When did you start eating pop tarts like this? I don't. Maybe other people eat pop tarts with butter on them after you've toasted them. But when is this a kid thing? It's like a depression. Is thing. this a craft? No, service I do thing? it like every <laughs> January. A craft service the, thing. The, yeah, no, you you. Um, at home, no, we had Pathmark toaster pastries. Are you kidding me? At I wasn't. Home? Yeah, I wasn't made uh, of money. Yeah. We had the no frills. We had no frills. I think is what we had. Toasted. Yeah, we had no frill pop tarts. But I guess I guess you would know right away because the the um the store brand ones had like a paper envelope around them, and the pop tart ones had a foil foil coating. So you could tell right away, even from a distance. Right. Somebody's making more money than the other. Which kind you had? The name branders. (laughs) They know what's up. I don't. I don't remember putting butter or anything on them for a long time. And then I guess being around craft service and having free pop tarts. Probably while working on Pan Am a couple of years ago, um, I burnt myself really grievously on a, a chocolate-filled uh, Pop-Tart. I put it in the toaster and then pulled it out, and the filling was... Uh, Piping. It gave me like a second-degree burn, so I am going to You're always getting burned on stuff at work. It's either a light, a 1K, or I, a 4K, whatever well, I do, was, I do work with very, very I do work, work in a very dangerous Hot, yeah, uh, place. True. Yeah. Speaking of odd meals when you're growing up, you know what? I, I still do this, actually. I, will, I call it my, uh, my redneck lunch i'll get a bag of originally it was ruffles because the ridges are amazing get a bag and put those on a plate and then i get ravioli chef boyardee and i just pour it over the potato chips and then i microwave it and i still do that and then you microwave it yeah yeah and And then then you marry your sister (laughs) (laughs) the idea pops into my head to marry my sister i don't actually go through with the uh the idea Uh, what is this best wash down with mountain dew oh yeah yeah the throwback, no sugar, Mountain Dew, the glass bottle. I wasn't allowed you, to have Pop Tarts in my house. So. Oh yeah, yeah, you were. On you the weren't allowed to have them in your house. No, no, not from ages no. eight to eighteen. Sally was; a, she's a nutritionist. Yeah, good for her. I I think that's not a horrible thing because yeah, well, yeah, well, you, we were you the could same be raised way. by through, a criminal. Or I, a, it didn't really change the way I, I look now. If I ate too many Pop Tarts, that's the thing. Like you, you're trading. You know, health as a youngster, for, quality for oh, quantity. when I get free, yeah, I'm gonna eat whatever the fuck I want to eat. Yeah, like, that's, that's the same thing because my we would switch to these diets and eat like whole wheat spaghetti. And who's we? Like, who wa- who's what? we? Who's we? It tastes like my family growing up. You know? Oh right, my maybe this would, is why. Maybe this is why you became a vegetarian as a reaction to these. Might be. <laughs> I also saw a series of animals being murdered in front of me as a child. Sort of a uh, a saw 
sort of type of situation. Did you grow up animals. on a farm? No, or? I didn't at all. It's no? not true at all. No, I just, you know. Jeremy, you have two choices. They used to find a lot of murdered uh, animals in Forest Park in Queens, not not so far from where I used to live. I guess a good bus ride, but. Yeah. I used to find a lot of, like, um, satanic ritual yeah. killed animals, also some voodoo, Santeria stuff. Oh, got all your various Caribbean religion yeah. animal murders going on. I'm okay with that. No, you're yeah. not. What? No, you're January not. is a month of death, and we have to consider, you know, it's like, <laughs> we have to consider, my Uncle Red passed away very recently, and um, it's not uh, it's not fair sometimes. Death is really rough, and yeah. we just have to understand that worms are going to eat the people we love eventually, and hopefully they, <laughs> no, hopefully they're going to make something better, uh, because it was a you know, really good person. Yeah. Well, I think tough. part part of it, January feels to me like that. It feels like that feeling of loss for an entire month. You know what I mean? It's like it's deep seated. There's well, nothing you can do, but you can't shake it. And somehow in March, you, I'll be like, oh, the sun's out. I can go outside. I can, I don't know. And then it sort of all makes sense again in the world. But I agree. January does not make sense to it, me. It's a conspiracy to sell like heating oil, I think. Yeah. Make everyone, <laughs> make everyone stay inside and huddle around their radiator and hate themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Record cold temperatures into moderate temperatures. Yeah. Back and forth and back and forth and let's get sick. So I guess what we're trying to say is uh, happy episode five. Yeah, uh, guys. We're sorry to bring bring the place down, but uh, we're just trying to get through January just like you are. Sometimes uh, closing a door and locking it means breaking a window with a brick that you find on the ground outside the house that you're trying to get into. (laughs) So... So I did have to get that, rid of the Cavalier, um, but I did uh, get a hand-me-down, much newer car, uh, a car that didn't wasn't in production while I was still in high school, like the last one that I drove, the last few, and uh, I got a flat tire on it already, so... <laughs> That was just a little reminder. There is, a, there is a window lock. Cavalieri yeah, there is saying, a window That's actually you saying that. Well... Yeah. You know, in, 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 <clears throat> I think the car, if the car was going to speak, it would just be like, Hah. I don't think cars can speak. I think we learned that from Herbie and cars. Yeah. Mostly Herbie. I was raised on Herbie. I was I'd raised on Herbie, Herbie, but Herbie spoke. Chitty Chitty, Chitty Bang Bang? Did you never no, see Chitty that No, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang didn't talk, did it? Did it you never flew. see that? It was a flying car. Oh, man, that was an awesome car. I fly something. <laughs> most steampunk car ever, I'm going to say. I'm going to nominate it. What's Top your favorite five? Most talking car? Steampunk car most ever? Most steampunk car ever. I what's, agree. What's my favorite fa- car ever? Favorite movie car ever that talk. Oh, movie car. That's a, what? It's like, that's <laughs> a, well, let's just narrow it down. <laughs> Why don't we? I like Herbie, and that's an easy choice, but, but I But Herbie I doesn't talk. Watching. That's the thing. Herbie just vocalized through oh, the horn and the instruments and stuff. It was much, it was like a more honest way of doing shit. Then I'm going to say Herbie. Herbie. Yeah, <laughs> Herbie was awesome. Man. Herbie was a good one. Yeah, Dean Jones. Um, Kit. Herbie rides again. Oh, Kit movie. did talk. T- uh, inside. Yeah, but he was, on, t- was, he was on TV. He was on TV. He was on TV. He was on a film. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, true. it was not a film. When I, before I got my license, my fir- very first car was a Pinto. Uh, it's like a, no, it was a Mercury Bobcat, which is the Pinto offshoot. Yeah, I don't see why you didn't take that as your porn name, Jeremy Pinto. Pinto? Yeah, Jeremy Pinto. <laughs> hey. It's me, Pinto. I'm here to fix the pipes. <laughs> no, but I before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody looking to get their pipes fixed by me, Pinto. Uh, for the uh, listener, we're all scratching our eyes out right now and pouring acid <laughs> on our eyes in an effort to uh, eradicate this vision. I do from have our a VHS heads. of that from the early. Poke, poke, poke early your eyes out, lights out. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, we, we, we hope you enjoy it. Coming up here in very, in very, very shortly is uh, our, our good friend Nikki Glazer. Um, so stick around for that. Talking about death in January and how much that sucks. No, I think we're going to keep it a little bit lighter. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to brighten things up. Because, oh, sure. listen, there's a, there's a light at the end of every Oh, that'll time. help. You know? Yeah. Seriously, if anybody is hurting and wants to talk, you can always reach out to us at dannyandmike.com or at Danny and Mike on the uh, online on social the yeah social yeah. networks and we will talk and we'll try and diffuse your crippling depression with laughter as it's been my favorite brand of self-medication for over 20 years we'll be right back with Nikki Glazer so Nikki thanks for being here uh, thanks for having me guys appreciate it it's um, so 
It's it's so nice to meet you both. I obviously watched your show as a young oh. child. How old are you guys? Uh oh. Oh really? Here it comes. Thirty one. Okay. Thirty. What? You're not thirty one. Oh, I you're am? just thirty one for a few more weeks. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, I'm thirty six. I'm, I'm thirty six. So okay. I hope you don't feel bad. No, no, no. I'm. T- I don't feel bad for asking. That's young and boy terms. Um, when you're a man, you can like be. Like don't you don't like. have to like be like oh I'm 36. No like, yeah that's old for a boy but that's young for a man. <laughs> it's young for like, okay I guess I can still call you boys. I think that's my yeah. Uh, I told my dad I was like I'm dating this boy and he's like maybe your issue is that you date boys. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how you describe them. I'm like there it is. No, like he says when you come to me and say I'm dating this man maybe it'll work out. But um no I was big fan. I'm 29 so I was like you know I was in it. But I was think I was talking about. One of my favorite sh- sh- shows ever as a kid. Not only was Pete and Pete, but Figure It Out. Yeah. Oh, which you yeah. were a reg on that. Uh, I don't know yeah. if you were on it. Were you on we it? We did one, one episode. One episode. Right? Okay. I, I think I only ever did one. It was just two, one? Two. It was like mom and dad and Pete yeah. and Pete. Yeah. So I had to like play oh. little Pete playing Figure It Out. We after rounded, after out one whole team one time. Okay, yeah. rounded out one whole team one time. Okay, I see. And I think I got slammed that time. You probably did. That show was so fun. Yeah. I thought he, it was enjoyable most of the time. I used to get slimed like every day, did, multiple you, times a day. Recent so. revelations, oh. it was fixed. No, it no. was not fixed. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. You would figure stuff out as soon as you could. No. So what? Where the f- where did you hear that from? He dude? said he decided, he decided no. as soon as they didn't like the kid, they well, would figure stuff well, out real quick. Well, well. It would always be a kid yeah. like, I memorized the... It's like they were always some, some nerd that yeah. had a talent. I saved that I was, all my toenail clippings in a mason <laughs> jar. Like, oh, that's and a then talent? Summer Sanders would that's watch not, you like ugh. do something at the end. Summer Sanders was great. Did you all have a crush on her? Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Ba- we I were mean, alive. I know. She said she would wait for me, and she lied. <laughs> that's, so, uh, that's as far as I'm going to take that. Could you, it's yeah. still, what is she doing It still now? hurts. Swimming. She's married and lives in Colorado and's got kids and still does a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so yeah. you are. On yeah, her. Still, I'm still, still, still broken up. Still up. I'm still, I know. I know her address, but I won't go there. <laughs> uh, yeah, good times. Those little kids, if they wanted to be dicks about it and be like, "You're never gonna guess it," it's on. Like I was like, "Okay, now." Now I'm going to try. Yeah. Because I wanted you to go to Cape Canaveral and go to the NASA space. But now you're just going to get a piece of the agro crack. Yeah, exactly. If that. We try <laughs> to that. get it in one round. So, oh, you want these British knights? They light up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> wow. You, you get nothing. Really, you'll get nothing and like it. You're that they used to give judge. away pieces of the set. Right. Because well, they were like, what else guts. are we going to do with it? From with global gut, guts. Guts got canned three years ago. We still have this humongous thing. Let's just give it away. And- <laughs> we'll send you Mo. Mo will oh, come oh, over oh, to your Oh, room. wow. Um, and when it cost that much because she was so little, you, you could just put her in a oh, very small box. Oh, she was box. a tiny woman. <laughs> Let's go to the leaderboard, Mike. <laughs> Shoot, it was a great, it was a good concept. I, don't know I think figured out. What was come your back. favorite part about being uh, a part of the aggro crowd? Yeah, what did you like being? In <laughs> Were was, you a part of it? No, yeah, he was, a he was the crag. That's how we met. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, no, he looked at him. He's like, your craggy stature has drawn me. I in. thought I recognized you. Yeah. He's I was, the old man in the mountain from New Hampshire. <laughs> that's <laughs> when I when I'm out and somebody sees these guys or one of these guys and and says, "Oh, well, who are you?" and I always say, "I'm Alex from Silver Spoons." <laughs> But nobody ever. That's yeah. a different thing. It doesn't right. work. Look at that. I'm Z, too young. Or, yeah, yeah, but that's young a thing. Thing. I'm, I'm yeah, so older. It could be, I'm old. It's plausible because it, to you're me, too I'd young. be like, oh my god, oh, okay, let me call exactly. my dad. Yeah, yeah, no, but then you take a selfie <laughs> and, to, and then see if he dad, can verify. No, then you take a selfie with that guy, and it's like, look, I got this picture with yes, the, this guy, yeah. and everyone's like, no, you didn't. That no, was, that's not the guy. Yeah, that's he's a nobody. Whoa, let's not. Okay, you said it. You said it. When we, when we you do seem that, like someone to me. You'll get your toy. <laughs> you seem like someone. That's me. a sign. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys caught that. That's a very deep. I don't know. <laughs> we think he looks like a thin Andy Milanakis. Oh, oh yeah. Well, really? from the majority. That's insulting. Ma- many, 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 many. <laughs> That's not nice. From about 20 oh. yards away, he looks oh. like a young Andy Milanakis. Okay, okay. Yeah. that's nicer. That's yeah, nicer. Yeah. No, but then when you get closer, he looks like mini me. 
Oh, <laughs> that's not. Is he that, does. Really? That's not yeah, no, yeah. Troy, Vern Troyer. Yeah. Okay. No, Jeremy urinating. In so the if you corn. get really, really close, so like oh, yeah. twenty really yards, small. like, but yeah. it, just it, there's it's not proportionate. It's not proportionate. Nothing in between. He won't look like anyone. This is my problem, right? I got to stop calling boy guys boys. <laughs> oh man, you know I'm way too close. Uh. <laughs> Good times, guys. Good times. How do you guys know each other? Craigslist? No, we. That's his favorite. That's his favorite, that's his favorite go-to, go-to joke every single oh. time. How do you know him? Oh, we found him on Craigslist. Danny and I did a, a TV show together. <laughs> right. Oh, so uh-huh. we used to hang out okay. a lot in Jersey. Dallas. Oh. It's called Dallas. All right. Dallas. <laughs> Again, your references. Just... Yeah, I know. Well, that's the thing. I get a lot that's of shit. hanging out with a 55 year old man. He yeah, looks really good true. for his age. Yeah. He's I, our mentor. That's the whole thing. Is I get shit because I I don't I didn't watch Pete and Pete because I'm 38 years old and you're was, 38. Yeah, because yeah, I was I too like old. I was into girls at that point. I wasn't watching TV shows on Nickelodeon. Oh, oh shit! I mean, I understand the significance and the relevance of it and how like yeah. well written and how you could never do that on TV now. And, and I like the, All the but he was busy trying to get some. Girl. Yeah, he was trying to get some. Oh, oh, everyone else was looking at their own style. Ohio pussy. Ohio. 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 That Ohio, Ohio pussy is good, right? Jesus. I didn't know you guys <laughs> Why did you take it there? We'll no. cut this out. Okay, sorry, listen. No, no. Sorry about how about, that. like, in your, in your high school or whatever, how many pregnancies happened during high school? Ooh. In my in my class, I yeah. think. To your two, knowledge. Three. Yeah. Two that three. I was involved in yeah. only three. How, that you no, were involved. Wait, where in Wait, Ohio? You introduced them. Very close. You're in Cincinnati, right? I was born in Cincinnati. Yeah, but... I I'm se- I'm an hour north of that. Do you <laughs> know where north 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 north. It's an hour north. It's Lynchburg, Ohio. It's, oh. it's Wilmington-ish, Hillsboro. Okay, cool. Yeah, very small oh, town. Oh, yeah, so very small. People. Yeah, very Yeah, but small I grew town. up in St. Louis. St. Louis. Oh, okay. And I think we had pregnancies at zero that I know of. But really? I, there were definitely some ones where like, she had a miscarriage in the toilet, oh, like geez. stories like that. Ruined her cheerleading outfit. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were, our colors were red, so oh, that's fit right in. Yeah, they don't run. <laughs> <laughs> I, as far as I, you guys, as far as I know, I don't think there were any uh, teen pregnancies at, in, my, in my grade while I, I was one. there. You did. Okay. In your class, there was only one. No, not in my in my class. There was only one. Maybe I usually in my high school, there was a very famous, well publicized, like teen couple that killed their baby and they were from my high school oh my what? god did they leave it on milford yeah you, what no, is it wilton they, road no, in they, east milford <laughs> west milford no. Cl- clinton road Wait, where did, you, did you go uh, la no in new jersey oh okay uh franklin lakes new jersey i went to it's the la of the east coast it's the la of the east coast it's like silver Lake. did you like go to regular high school after you finished you like went back to be a boy i went to public everything Okay. Yeah, started but you I, taped in LA, right? No, P and B was all shot in Jersey. Shut it. Oh okay. P and B was all in Jersey. Uh, she just said shut it, so yeah, you can't so you talk must, to the rest of it. Where'd you do figured it out? They did that in California. Okay, so they would ship you out there. Oh right. no, no, I'm sorry. He did that he did all that in California. I don't he like did figure people it. are speaking for okay. okay, I'll, I'll oh, handle yeah, you that. all that too. <laughs> I'll handle Jesus. Them. I'll handle Yeah, them. I just God, ran through he, Nickelodeon. We spent a lot for, of time together. I know. You guys, I'm sorry. You guys cash yeah. checks from the same corporate paymaster. That's, That's true. true. That's true. What's it like working for MTV these well, days? Well, I wouldn't know. No. No. Because my show is not coming back. Um, but you still get residuals. That's true. That's true. Let's, um, let's it pay was the fun. rent. Let's pay the rent. Yeah, next yeah. Month. It's um. It was. Fu- it was. You know. You have to like. The, there's the demo that you have to like it, talk speak to, and I'm not in that. It's 18 to 24 year old girls. You and just admitted you were 29. I'm 29, but not 24. It's I'm, been a while. No, I'm saying so. They were they like you've aged out of this. Uh, no, they well they just like made us look like we were 24. They they dressed us like we were. You felt right. You felt. Yeah, I, I like so. And we were just. I'm I'm still obsessed with like all the same things they are. You know, I I got into One Direction and Justin Bieber and all that stuff. And um, we called the dem the demo. We we ended up calling them Demo Lovato because they just love Demi Lovato. So when we talked about <laughs> them, we were like, oh, the Demo Lovato. Okay, uh, yeah. The but, Demo Lovato is gonna love this. Yeah, it's just like every everyone, all my fans from the Sh- Nikki and Sarah live on MTV were just everyone on Twitter 
had like their picture is a picture of Harry Styles and their yes, and name some, is like sort love of love Harry Styles X X Bieber X X O yeah haircut it's such a haircut weird thing yeah. I would mm. never like if I was a fan of someone when I was a teen I would have never adopted their face well what about what <laughs> you put your, it no, your no, no, I, think, I wouldn't have done that no I think the new kids on the block were way into this like they were I remember all yeah. my sister all my little sisters friends had new kids on the block posters on there you know that's what, different what than kind of being like this is who I am on, on Twitter wall, on like the wall of your bedroom is way different. It's not who I am but representing that, myself online. Like but that my, was the only way we could represent ourselves oh, back then point. was cover the insides of our walls and our lockers like at high school. Oh, yeah. High when school. you're so obsessed with something, you do want it to be every part of you. So they, that's what they that would have sense. done if that had existed back then. That but totally makes sense. Thank the Christ it did not. God, aren't you so grateful? Yes. Just missed it. Yes. Oh, boy. Did you go to college? I did. Did yeah. you? I did, too. Yeah. I did, so did you? Jeremy, yeah, you did, did you? Yeah. Mm, I did. No? Yeah, I went, yeah, to, you went to Oh, okay. Yeah. And none okay. of us had to deal with cell phones or being super drunk and people videotaping I mean, it or anything like that. I can't imagine. Like, they, you, there's these stories. I don't mean to get so dark here, but there's these stories of these girls, like, hanging themselves because, you know, they get drunk at a party and they yeah, take it too far. And video- that would have been me. I, I've, luckily, I did not drink until way later in my life. But if if I would have, someone would, if I would have been cool enough in eighth grade that someone invited me to a party and I got wasted, I would gotten naked and done weird yes. stuff yes. and someone would have taken a picture and I remember in 8th grade someone found out that I had watched porn before like one of my friends I told her like I watched porn this weekend and it right. was kind of awesome and then how long did it take to spread <laughs> it spread uh, she, t- she how told long did it, take? it was like my best friend who I trusted she was like I told Brittany Burke that you watched porn and Brittany Burke was like I mean her name's Brittany Burke it, it was just well, sounds it was well known popular. Like it, you knew it was it gonna happen it, well I thought it was gonna spread but it never spread, but the thought that Brittany Burke, the most popular girl in school, knew that I watched porn, which I had all the shame about, because I, you don't know that everyone watches it at that age. Because people aren't she watching could it. Use against you. I literally was thinking about killing myself. I remember <sighs> being in eighth grade, being like, "I'm going to throw myself off this hotel balcony because of that." So if oh. someone would have had a picture of me naked, it's bad. Now. I would have been. Is, it, I would have been gone. Oh, yeah. gone, baby, gone. Wow. And it's the saddest thing One ever. One cell because phone pick. It's. Group message to everyone in there. Well, no, I think when we went well, to high school, it would be like if something happened, you you know, it would we would wake up whatever Sunday, and whoever people recovering would talk about it, and then it would percolate Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like that. You know, it would percolate. Now, just the way digital sharing is, everybody knows exactly what happened three o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning. As soon as it happened, like anybody who checks in anywhere knows what the fuck. It's that's I don't know. It's uh, it's devastating to think about. It, uh, if I, I could not, if I had a daughter, I'd be like, "You stay away from yeah, drinking word. for this reason, <laughs> yeah. not because it's gonna like lead to drugs and like, but like because Destitution. you will, but you will do embarrass yourself. And You'll shit your pants or something. Like, I'll never go to Harvard. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking about that too. Like college, I don't even know that I would want my kids to go to college. Like, you don't really need oh, it anymore. I mean, you do, but like everyone, it's. Just, well, what do you, how do you feel about it? Did, he didn't finish. No, but, like no, I didn't. didn't. I, fo- I followed many other great actors in dropping out of SUNY Purchase. Oh, okay. yeah, a, but uh, a also some good. Before also some you good finished. Right? Yeah, no, uh, also <laughs> some good actors finished as well. I've been sure. I was working just recently with Edie Falco and uh, Paul Schultz, and they're all they both graduated. They both graduated. Yes, but they seem like nice people. Yeah, they've, they've successful done successful well employed themselves. actors. Again, yeah, so. yeah, but I don't know that you. Unless you're going to, I don't know. I just went and got an English degree because I was just like, I just need a degree. Like you're just going. Shut up, to, mom. Yeah, like <laughs> I did what you want here, and the, and they resent me so much because they paid for it. I didn't want to go, and they're like, "Well, j- just go." And but they, st- I know that I like put them in debt a little bit to go, and obviously it all worked out. But I didn't need that degree at all. But I did it. What are you talking about? You're good at the language. Now. I am fluent. You're right. You speak English. You Thank English? you. Yeah. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty well, good. I'm, I'm getting sa- there. This is a small sample, but I'm saying yeah. your facility with the language is obvious. I did say right? we're in agreeance. We're, last oh, time. we're irregardless or something like that. <laughs> agreeance. And I said it. I was like, ugh. It's agreement. <laughs> we're in the, agreement. That's right? the training. That's the old training kicking in. Yeah. The, 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 the shame that follows me every time I say something so stupid. <laughs> I'm not smart. I don't read enough. Do you guys read? You look like you read. 
Sometimes. Who looks like they read a distant, <laughs> yeah. distant but You have like a, a, a scarf on that just gives yeah, you the so, air of someone who reads a like you can't dirty, wait to get back into your book. Disgusting and you don't have a Kindle because you like the feel of yeah, books. Yeah, I totally like the feel of and paper you like books. The, the smell. The smell. The smell of, of I'm like, mold. make a Kindle that smells like an old book. Oh, yeah. Why huh? don't they do it? Huh? Okay. Two trillion dollar ideas today. That's one of That's them. That's one of them. I got the other one. Okay. Okay. Close you your gonna, eyes. Are you Close your eyes. It? Are you okay? Uh, take your someone's... shoes. Take your shoes off because I'm gonna knock your socks right through them. <laughs> Nutella filled pop tarts. Why? Why don't those exist? See, mm. yeah. trillion dollars. Okay, now we have proof. Why doesn't that exist? Yeah, but you just put it, out put it out there. No, now so. we have proof that I thought of it first. So this is right. Proof. Okay, here we go. So you can't steal it. You can't Old steal book it. Kindle. You can't steal it. Word. Copyright. Mm-hmm. Let's make the C sign. Copyright. Copyright. Son Son Done. Yeah, Five papers filed. No, it so counts. if you if you if you go out and make those because we're too lazy to really do it, just like kick us back some. Yeah. That was a great idea. Smelly old book Kindle. Oh, that's yeah, just, just that's, like that's all you like hear is like it freshers. doesn't smell like books. Yeah, just yeah. make one that smells mm. like a scratch and sniff Kindle. I, I don't have yeah. a crinkly Kindle. <laughs> yeah. There is something nice about finishing a book and being like boom. Yeah. Or just like seeing how much you've done, yes, like you know, that's what it is. Because I'm always proud of myself when I read. It's the proportion of yeah. already you can, read. You to, can never yeah. put a crease in the page of a Kindle. No, to know where you've stopped. No, like, I only did, I only went through three times. You to can't read this dog book. ear. I like to dog ear things. A dog. Or, or write <laughs> philosophical questions. In the oh computer. yeah, but uh, wait. So you do you don't read? What was the last book you guys read? I just got a lot of books as presents. That's a start. I just got a lot I of just books. That's got, a start. As I, presents. Over, over the years, um, I got like book number two and book number six of the Master and Commander series. Okay. You know, they made one of those into a movie. With That's Ru- right, with, with Russell, uh, Crow. Russell Crowe. Yeah. So my uncle, you know, never asked me if I, you know, if I wanted to. Two through to, five, it, you are sitting out. Yeah, you got one and, got six. one and six. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna wait till I, I, I figure. Yeah, I literally I book it. Yeah, no, I figure <laughs> in ten years I'm gonna get the whole thing, and then I'm gonna bother to read them all the way through. I'm you stockpiling. Won't. Yeah. What was the last book you read? Seriously, come on, let's I come up with this. Great, a great hard. abridged classic. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, I don't know. That's not uh, the name of a book. No, that's not. That would be a great name for a book. Oh yeah, no, I. I just I, read all the I abridged opened books. or that I read all the way through? All the way. Born, you took it all the way. I love that you guys don't read no, either. Born Standing Up. I recently Born read the Standing Steve Up. Martin Isn't that book. good? It's incredible. Okay, I it's can't incredible. believe I've read, read a book. I don't read books either, yeah, but I think a lot of people read, read that book. Yeah, totally agree. It was good. <laughs> I know. I love this because I walked in here and I'm like, these guys fucking read. <laughs> That's not what a basement no. apartment says to me. I, it, it, for some reason, you just gave that. I was getting that vibe when was I walked the in. Pipe or the elbow pad? Man. <laughs> <laughs> I probably read a book about Dragon Ball Z recently. Yeah, what, is yeah that do, a, do they count? have those? They have Dragon Ball Z. Of course, they have Dragon Ball Z books. I'm yeah. sure. I know. Were you playing that on your Japanese. phone? Did I catch you playing? What were you playing on your phone? It was some kind Clash of, of the Clans. I oh think. no, it was like, like a castle game. Oh. What? What yeah. is that? Yeah. It, there's like the the Nerd makers alert. the makers of this I game. I wish I could get involved in things. The like makers this, of this seems... of this game have seen fit to advertise on TV during okay. football, which is like the most expensive. Oh my god! Well, they're so smart to do so. Is there's a, a lot going on there. Yeah. You should probably get back in that world and TCB. No, look, they're, look, they're building up for me. But yeah, someone laid waste to my castle there's so while much we were riffing. No, in that. <laughs> no. What is going on there? There's too much to know. That's really you know the way the <laughs> amount of content. <laughs> the, that is a book. The amount of content that we yeah, produce. Yeah, who needs a book when you can, you know, I mean, get so involved in that? I, I, I'm just very impressed that you know what's going on in this world. That's a lot to know. You would have he to be on the J train, yeah, though, because this doesn't, work, this doesn't work this doesn't work when you're underground on the subway. It has to be on, it has to be connected oh, to the internet. Oh, yeah. that's why Danny's not on the trains. Ooh. You nice, gotta keep your nice. world going That's on. right. That's <laughs> Once I go underground, my whole world stops. <laughs> Well, we generate so I much I was content. Be a I, still haven't thought one of a, day. I still haven't thought of a book that I've finished recently. That's, I know. I mean, Life I'm of no Pi, better. I think, might have been the last Life of Pi, okay. My little sister gave Cook it to book. me for Christmas. Like, yeah, it's Life of Pi, yeah. cookbook. <laughs> it's just collecting water and it's tarps. Water and it's rainwater and tarps. It's water and, and tiger meat. Still, yeah. It's really weird. Have a really good <laughs> recipe for Brian's tiger. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, uh, Nikki, we... How about you? Did you read a book? Oh, yeah. Um, 
<laughs> I really think the last book I, I was trying to think of as I asked that it sounded like a question I was asking so I could be like, well, I read and I don't. Um, oh, Wally Lamb is a really good author and he just wrote a book called We Are Water. And I like the, the every time I read the title We Are Water, I would say We Are Water. I couldn't not read that title. J.K. Simmons was on Pete and Pete. Oh yeah, he, he was. was? Yeah, yeah, he was a guy in the very last episode. He played Barbara Dan. Oh my god, that that's a, so cool. He's a good guy. How many seasons did you guys do? How many, Dan? Three official seasons. Three but official, we did, and then yeah. you did a couple specials, a bunch of specials, and a bunch of like little, sixty second vignettes. vignettes. Okay, okay, vignettes. And where can you find? Old episodes online because we don't. You know, nobody wants to give us money. I think that is such are we on, garbage. Are we on Netflix or no? no? No. Well, I think you can get the DVDs on Netflix, right? Because I you can rent, rent the DVDs. I thought like you had no idea what well, was going the thing on. Is, I've never seen watch. the show. Mm. Have you ever watched the show? Oh, I've watched. I've watched the show. Okay, good. Um, yeah, what? just not. I haven't seen every episode, and I don't know a lot of the. I love you, that you guys are still friends. References. Who? Oh. You two. Oh, well, we never said oh. we were friends. Yeah, no. We just still hang. You still collaborate. I mean, how it's been oh, 15 years? 16? Uh, longer. No, longer, way longer. longer. Really? 1989, we, we met. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we met in the 80s. <laughs> oh, my God. I think it was we after. We were doing Coke with Michael Stipe. And yes. Oh, yeah. Iggy Pop. We Iggy did Heroin Pop. with Iggy Pop. Mm-hmm. We did Coke with Michael Stipe. We did Poppers with Kate Pearson. <laughs> <laughs> and Down- HGH we did, with and we did, Summer Sanders. We did Downers with uh, wish, David Johansson. I can only wish that Summer Sanders gave me HGH. H1, Jesus. I don't remember it. <laughs> you just wanted an H U G. She wow. gave you H. I got plenty of hugs. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. So what I was uh, going to um, ask you before was we we do an adventure every episode, mm-hmm. right? And this adventure, we said goodbye. It was adventure. It was an episode about l- losing something, and Mike lost something very special to him. <gasps> yeah. Lose? My '92 Cavalier had really run. Run the course. My, oh. my 1992 Chevy Cavalier, which I'm sorry. I got for free as a ringer car. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Oh, so you made out? You you how long did you have the car for? Uh, a couple years, three years. Not bad. But how no, much did I, you pay for a '92? Zero. No, oh. I, I got it as a ringer. I bought a, I bought a what nice. What does a ringer mean? I bought well, a ringer is like if you have a softball team and you bring in like your brother's older yeah, friends. Yeah, but what does that mean in a car terminal? Uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> historical, <laughs> point, historical car insurance is like twelve dollars a month. But oh. but it can't be your only car. You have to have another car to prove to them that you're not driving that that car, car every day. Oh, that's so interesting. So this was my yeah, this was my Ringer car. Okay, and uh, but you still had to pay for it, no? Yeah, but I insured. It's, it's a '92 Cavalier. I insured it for like a hundred dollars a month or something. You okay, know, not, not crazy. I didn't. Yeah, but I no, I didn't pay anything for it. The okay. car was free. Okay. Then things began to break on it, so I'm definitely in the negatives for this car overall. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you loved it. Yeah, yeah, I cared about it, but it was just done. Mm-hmm. We we decided to give it its its final hurrah and one we, last voyage. We had somebody um tag it with with a whole bunch of bright spray paint yeah. and then we drove it around uh, Brooklyn. Hashtag so to fun. See. Yeah. It was awesome driving around in a, in a totally sprayed out car. All these people just staring at the car. I kept forgetting that we were. I kept forgetting that we were in. Uh, what do you call it? Oh my god! I kept forgetting that we had a, a graffiti car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You couldn't tell when you're inside the car. Yeah. Wait, are these all the? Except I remembered every time because I couldn't. You get, guys I killed couldn't get everyone. In the pa- yeah, we all died. Yeah, you couldn't I, get in the passenger side because he spray painted spray the, painted the door. The door yeah. handle. You really did spray paint the shit out of this. Plus, it was thirty degrees. Yeah, it was really cold Can outside. Can I just go yeah. up? Yeah. Oh, you think? For the listener, That's Mike is showing <gasps> Nikki on Vine all of our vines. Nikki is reacting for the listener with eyes. Uh, uh, oh my god, you had to like see it get dumped. Yeah, oh, I walked back oh, into yeah. the I walked back into the yard and just happened to catch it. That's um, really was it emotional was, for you to see that? Yes, yeah. I was like in the middle of pulling shit out of the car when he was like driving the loader by to get another car and just like bumped my car like I, I was like reaching inside the car yeah. my car was like ju- <laughs> my car was ju- it's an accident, sir. that was an accident there's two <laughs> guys there's two guys working my license plates off the car like this at the same time oh my god is that how they do it yes because they're like the, For the, the screws listener, were all two arms. Yeah. Oh this, this screw, was so just like down. snapping them off the car, you know just snapping the metal off the car wow. I was just like oh easy pass gloves so where thing, does that but, happen where did you drive to oh just down Metropolitan Avenue just oh like into the guts of Brooklyn and Queens. So, are you going to get another his- and another historical? I got a hand-me-down car, so I'm looking good now. But 
if you want to if you want to see where I'm at, uh, this is the status of the car currently. This is this is why I was this late. Is, oh, this is the great. This is why yeah, I was late the, for this, today. This is what this is what he gets for I, I got a trashing flat, the Cavalier. I got a flat in my. Oh, I just got is this a car. A Prius? Yes, I just got a car. Nice. And I just got a flat. And it's not it kind of a- looks cool. It's like a, has a one gold rim. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a spare. Yeah, you're not supposed to. Uh, did you do, change that yourself? Yes, yes, Was I did. Was that an adventure? I turned into the Incredible Hulk. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So no... Um, I have a jack. No, I have a jack You have a jack? Well. Yeah, no, I just... A I, friend I, named I put jack? The don't- who, who <laughs> just <laughs> makes you angry? <laughs> Get angry. Keeps poking him in the yeah. side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I did that for our, our Demi Demo Lovato era people would probably call AAA uh, but demo people, auto, people of my age I think would probably also call AAA but I just I don't know if no I have way. I don't yeah, think I have I know. AAA Who, no one knows if you have it because like yeah. your parents like signed yeah, exactly. you were on your Do parents you account you're like can yeah. you still use in, that in 2003 yeah, yeah. Uh, is that, that's still good right you have me in the in your files <laughs> I, I'll, I just have to rejoin for today <laughs> right, I'll just, right. If, I, if I pay for today prorated I well, everything's it. fine nothing's happened why no. would you think something happened no, I'm just the car is fine can I just prorate my membership so like 70 cents like today, <laughs> like, uh, you know, like Chris Rock, you know. Yeah. How much is one rib? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah so no I one's ever the, told me I sound like Chris Rock. So uh, thank you. First, first. <laughs> that's the state it's in right now. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the old tire on. Yeah. When I get back home. Oh. Still, Danny's text. To, but a Prius uh, is pretty sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Danny's text to Mike this morning was. The Cavalier would never do that to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you have like a name for it? Il Cavalieri, which I yeah. understand is plural, and there was only one Cavalier. Oh. They, they don't agree with each other, but it was... It was the spark plugs. There are many spark plugs in a car. That's what you're calling them. It was the Il Cavalieri. Il Cavalieri was my name for but the But you car. take the train, you said. Yeah, I ride my bike a lot, actually, too. Living okay. in Greenpoint, it's super yeah, easy just to get everywhere. True. Yeah, so I was I was driving more for... To get to Staten Island or something like that. Oh, okay. Which you should never ever go there. Do. Why were yeah. you going to Staten Island? Oh, my mother lives there. Oh, so okay. It's... I've never been. You should go sometime. Oh, it's lots. <laughs> it's, it's, it's mm. yeah. There's a couple Just of good restaurants. What's wrong with Staten Island? Just Why does everyone shit on Staten Island? Well, there used to be a dump there, and there's still a huge toxic waste site. There. Oh, really? But um, there's some good restaurants. There's okay. some good pizza places and some good Italian. Yeah, drinks. I got that in in Manhattan. No, no, this is good. Oh, like, oh, That's oh, a, if you. If, if, <laughs> If you're gonna make the voyage to Staten Island, you gotta just go to yeah the good pizza joint. Yeah, you gotta go. To yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know what you have over by you is like. Uh, I guess there's a couple of high end pizza joints, but yeah, Greenpoint's got a, like one, two good ones. What? Where? Which ones in Greenpoint? I spend a lot of time in Greenpoint. There's Polly G's. On I the, love Polly on the end of Greenpoint Avenue, and then cool. you got uh, Carmine's, which is right outside okay. the. Uh, the G train stop on Norman Avenue. Now I like a I like a thin crust. That's yeah, that's Carmine's. Okay, yeah. okay. This is just turning into our corporate endorsement podcast. <laughs> no top to bottom. <laughs> Jesus, Wait, I can tell you all the great thin crust places in Jersey to go. Yeah, but no one ever goes to Jersey. No, no, so, but see, yeah. that's the thing. It's like that's why I get mad. I'm like I shit on Staten Island because people shit on Jersey more. I feel like yeah, they well, do. Well, people way... people from Jersey shit on Staten Island as they drive through on their. Does cars. anyone have Staten Island pride? Because Jersey a pride's a thing. Yeah. A lot of people do. Well, I'm people sure. who previously lived in Brooklyn like 20, 30, 50 years ago, and then moved to Staten Island as Brooklyn got. A little Expen- bit. Yeah. Yeah. Expensive. Okay. I'm holding air quotes over expensive. That's great. Right. I have super jersey racist. pride, though. You do? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I. Anytime someone starts talking shit. That's the name of that's his it. cologne. Is he starts jersey doing pride. the Nordic track. Oh, I yeah. start doing the Nordic Cross track. Country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just... I, I yell and scream. <laughs> 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 that was a. That Where's was... your bow flex? <laughs> but you should sell a cologne called Jersey Pride. You really <laughs> should. <laughs> like I'm you and sure Chris there is one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you and Chris Christie could it's endorse. It's in a nice little like Jersey State shaped oh. glass. Flask. 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 <laughs> in Greenpoint, like the the liquor stores sell vodka in the shape of. Guns, guns, skulls, in Greenpoint? skulls, grenades. Ew. Like, yeah, the liquor stores in Greenpoint. That's what. Uh, the, that's their like the gimmick. I haven't gimmick been to stuff. a bar or liquor. I quit drinking two years ago, and my life has changed because of it. I don't go to bars anymore. I guess. You don't Do you go guys to drink? Bars ever? I five. Uh, yeah. Do you? I miss it. I was just thinking, because on the way reading. over here, I was thinking I of, like, what adventures I do I have? And I'm like, I don't have any because I don't drink anymore. Oh, no. I, love, no, I don't no. go on. I, I, January is about the Christmas hangover. 
the whole January is just like we excel, we excess during Christmas and we sort of glutton up and whatever. Yeah. And January's like, oh, I got to get rid of the You're Cavalier. You're slowly right? crawling right. out of this. Oh, like, I gotta pay the bills from Christmas. Yeah, January yeah. sucks. Yes, it sucks. Yeah. Like, oh, the days are still it's so like a, It's a Sunday after a Saturday where you <laughs> oh, yeah. fucking... <laughs> And, and, and you're looking, and you're looking yeah. at all the embarrassing naked pictures from the party from last <laughs> night. Yes. All the, everybody oh, contemplate suicide. Yes. And you, but you stayed in. You didn't go to any oh, of those parties. Right. Yeah, but, I but didn't you, do so anything. But you follow all these party people, so you get to see all their pick their embarrassing. I mean, pictures it's, it is great, night. like not having to have hangovers anymore. And like when people, like when I hear about them or read tweets, I'm like, uh, I don't. But I'm still doing exactly what those people are doing. Do you except, have a brunch cut off when people are like, Oh, we want to meet you for brunch, but like we're really, you know, we had a really late. No, I don't like, No I don't go to brunch with people I don't do anything what, what are you talking about I feel like I don't do Sunday or Saturday it's like, like I don't it's, do things It's that... noon And your friends are like Let's get some to eat do you Yeah like, Do you like Okay we get But let's get this done Because I'm not waiting I'm not meeting you till 2 and I don't get... But that's the thing I don't hang out with like People who drink anymore it sucks. It's not. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck, but it's so different. So ask us that question again. Do you guys we, drink? No, we don't drink. No, we don't drink. Do you want to get did. brunch? No, yeah. you want to get brunch? But the thing, I would love to get brunch with all of you. Not Jeremy. Uh, drinks. Oh, yeah, not Jeremy. I'm talking to you I drink there. like a fish. Whatever, whatever his name is. Tom the Burglar. Tom, Tom the Burglar. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. But yeah, I just think that adventures, um, my adventures mostly stem from when I was drinking but now i'm just pretty boring i think but can, i enjoy it I can guess. you strike a middle ground i think you have to choose to go on adventures when you're sober you have to be like let's go on an adventure and then it doesn't really it's, it doesn't have the same like then you end up oh my god yeah. guess what happened because it's too planned Does you end up on canal street haggling and you're like this is a great day <laughs> yeah, i got three dollars off this bag and that's <laughs> not an adventure yeah i mean does lsd a, count when you're sober I think I think so. I think you could do that. I mean, it's all like what you like. I don't smoke pot anymore either. But it's totally different receptors, you know. What yeah, I, mean? I think LSD is more like. Oh, forget about brunch, by the way. Why? Because no pot. <laughs> <laughs> I suck. I know. <laughs> no fun glazer. That's what my friends call it. Yeah. No, no fun glazer. No, they no. Don't. <laughs> That better not be a hashtag. I mean, you don't you don't go to brunch in order to do drugs. I'm just no, giving I'm just giving I'm an just, example. No, I'm giving an example. Like, have eggs you Benedict. have a sober you have a sober life. Here's the thing. I am I yes, but I am the one who's always like pushing things back still because I like just want to stay in bed and like do nothing. I don't want I watch Hulu. Or I whatever. still act like I'm ha- hungover even if I'm not. Like I still like to just and it, I I miss just being able to do nothing, nothing? and have an excuse <laughs> yes, for it. Because yes. <laughs> you're emotions. legitimately sick. When and you're, you're saving hungover, money now. You are sick. You're saving money now oh, on booze. So and drugs money. so it's like win win yeah win. but i spend it now on like others now i'm like i have all this then so then you go Netflix spend it on or... food oh yeah you order in a lot i took a month off i took a month that's off not easy in... to do she... well i was on drugs i was on like uh, uh what are they called oh like yeah a... yeah so you antibiotics had to. antibiotics right. uh-huh. yeah, yeah yeah is that what they but call I... them now the antibiotics <laughs> yeah that's yeah, the but... new that's the kids are calling yeah, it. yeah. I, thought, I thought it was called yeah, like man, ice you got or that something. zithromax man <laughs> yeah. give me that z-pack yeah, man. man oh ba- okay here you go so do you ever get recognized no 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 do do you ever do you get, ever get do, recognized do you ever get recognized i got a parasite uh-huh coming home from japan I spent my last thousand yen on some airport sushi in Tokyo. Oh shit! That's my expensive. last thousand. Oh, I got my last thousand yen. I got some airport sushi. Oh, perfect! It's gonna even out. Yeah, exactly. And I'll be. Oh, I'll be good. You know, I don't want to eat that on the plane. So start feeling sick halfway through the plane. You know, oh, oh. I land in L.A. <laughs> I land in L.A. Hundred and two fever. Oh no! Illegal fireworks in my baggage. No. They wheel me right through customs in a wheelchair. I'm like, l- my head's lolling back. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't even care about the the fireworks. They don't even check my bags. That's they just want to get brilliant. rid of. It. They just want to get rid of me. Are you puking they and everything? Like, are you- no, but they wouldn't give me like anything on the plane. I was like, can I have seltzer? Can I have apple juice? Can I have a, a Advil? They were like, can I have That's anything? Torture. Oh, they couldn't give me much of anything on the plane. I was starting to feel real. So they dumped just me in. The, they dumped me in the. I the thought they wouldn't even give them that. Oh, they, d- they dump me in the airport. It's so, the middle of the day. Can they tell? Obviously, you're like white. and I Ashen. Mean, I'm you're ashen. ashen. I'm you're in a wheelchair to get normal. off the plane. Paler they, than normal. That's what me, I meant. put me in a wheelchair to get off PTN. the plane. And they push me right through <laughs> customs because uh-huh. it was an international flight coming through Bradley. Big stamping. This is Jesus. a stamping motion. Because they had stamps back then when I was traveling. Oh, really? They yeah. still stamp. They still, they, they still stamp. So, <laughs> 
everyone's working. It's, a mid, it's the middle of the day. <laughs> Lori Beth Denberg is the only person Shut who can pick me up from up. the airport. Lori Beth You're Denberg. You're friends with Lori Beth Denberg Lori still? Beth, Lori Beth Denberg from all that and various... And uh, uh, old various school. T- and old yeah. school, various, various uh, f- uh, Nickelodeon show fame. Yes. Is the only person she's working on a show in... in uh, she's working on the Steve Harvey show at the time. Oh, I remember she was on that. And one. she was able to... She's clo- that's close to the airport. And she was able to pick. That's it wasn't so close nice. to the airs in the valley, whatever it is. She was able to pick me up. I'm sick. I have a parasite inside. I do not know this. She's like tolerates me hanging out on her couch. But she's they like, wheeled you out. How do you not yeah, know? That I don't were- know. I don't know. She's like, you have to go to the hospital. We're going to the hospital. We're going to the hospital. We're going to the hospital. That night. After I'm like suffering on her couch for half a day. That night. You know, however late it is, we go to the hospital. We're in the valley in an emergency room. And. This young black kid recognizes her from the Steve Harvey show. Hilarious. And he's and he love he loves her. He loves that that, that she's there. And it was I bet like, she gets recognized all the time. So, it was show. so heartwarm. It was so heartwarming. It's a and popular I, show. I got I got a uh, hundred dollars worth of Cipro, ten pills. This was the year two thousand or something like that. I can't even remember. And we got out of there. And I was like, I was fixed. But you didn't get recognized. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, so the answer is still no. Lori Beth Denberg. <laughs> Lori Beth Denberg got recognized. That was such a great... That was, oh, that was you a, must get recognized. Yeah, occasionally. He does. How often? How often would you say? What's your... Once a week? Well, well, if I'm at work, it's like... Where do you work? What are you doing now? Uh, I work as an electrician on various uh, films and television. So. Is that true? Yeah. So, I mean, if MTV was a union employer, I would I would have worked right. on... Right. You're you an know. electrician. Yeah, yeah I, do, I do lights amazing. On, and crap and lighting. Cool. So, uh, I was most recently working on Nurse Jackie. Before that, I was working on Boardwalk Empire. Nice. It's like, I know the... Nurse Jackie films here? Yeah, in Queens, in Astoria. Oh, that's cool. So, at cliffhanger, cliffhanger. No, at, at in an Astoria in Kaufman Astoria Studios, which oh, is like right. old timey. Yeah, very boring. Oh, neat. K A S. And are you? Where are you working? Me, I work for myself. Do, are you still acting? Yeah, I still do acting. He, he stuff. used to have a wine route. I used to. Yeah, when I first moved to New York, I delivered wine. That's for cool. My, my great grandfather started the oldest Italian wine company in New York. Oh my Jen- God. <laughs> Jenko, the G. No, no, it's called, it's called Vinvino, Vinvino Wine Company. Wow, his name was Vin, I think. Yeah, I don't know why it's French and Italian, but it just is. I like that. Listen, I was a Vin bike Vino. messenger for a few, couple months. Yeah, when I was younger and crazier. Th- that's dangerous. Very. Oh, I had a taxi break his side view mirror off of my back, Oof. trying to kill me. Once, when I was uh, auditioning at a young age, my dad drove me in to some place on Broadway and I was coming out and I see Mike who's just standing there like looking all like oh what happened someone jacked his bike right in front of the building that we were in so my dad had to give him a ride oh my god <laughs> that's fucking funny damn bike messengers and their problems yeah I, I was it was in that like crossover time where I was post Pete and Pete was working post bike messenger working but still had a bike trying to act and audition still right Oh, now, do gonna... you miss the acting and auditioning? Sure. Sure. No, auditioning's the worst. <laughs> auditioning the worst. fucking blows. Dude. It's is it the worst? It's all I don't like it. It's terrible, right? Yeah. I mean even Back in the day you used to be able to, you know, if you had a little clout. Sure. I didn't audition for all that or figure I had a, it out. I had a yeah, just got to move on head. and move on. Now yeah, yeah it's now hard. you gotta you go got, back because every, and... everybody's doing it. That's We're, true. Everybody's doing what? Auditioning. Oh, I thought everyone was doing antibiotics. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> when you need them, if you have a parasite, I suggest taking antibiotics. My God. If you've learned anything from this podcast today, oh, damn. it is. Cipro was that super drug, though. That definitely killed it right away, whatever it was. Probably killed Ew, some you of your like inside, some kind too. Of parasite in a sushi it's thing. Just about alien, right? Airport, Narita <laughs> Airport, Tokyo. It's funny because people are like, never get sushi at an airport. But you're like in Japan. Yeah. You're like, it's, maybe it'll be okay. It's the safest place. Right? Right? Yeah. 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 I think I can go with the kidnappers. Okay, this is Brazil yeah. after all. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be safe for 90% of these kidnappings. Wait, I'm well. I want to, okay, going back to auditioning. When you were a kid auditioning, was that a little, I mean, obviously there's less pressure or was there still the same amount of pressure? Oh, oh. Way less, show way your hands. Less pressure. Show your hands. What's your name? 
What's your, how old? Show you? your hands. What's your name? On, how old oh, are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show this, your hands for yeah. commercials. Oh my god, whenever, I wish they still did that. Whenever uh, you were auditioning, for, oh, of course, because people would be jazz hands now. We were yeah. scared to hell at the time. Yeah. Oh. I think it was for commercials. You had to, you know, they wanted to see if you looked like a mutant or if you could hold oh. their hold their product. I don't know. I remember being in an audition once with this weird. It was like a group of like kids came in and and he wa- he walked in with his. Uh, you get like your your card sheet and the the Polaroid that they take and he wrote 10 on the back of it. And when he like, when they pan to him, they're like, okay, what's your name? He goes, my name is blah, 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 blah. I'm seven years old. And I give myself, myself a 10. 10. And, oh. and I'll never forget. I was probably like nine, you know, I was not much older than he was, but I recognized that that was like, so lame, so lame. And so like, what are you doing, dude? I booked that commercial. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. yeah. I buried that boy. I killed him. I killed him. Did, but did you guys want to act, or were, is it something your parents? I don't you think to my do? parents wanted to pay for college, but I also really wanted attention as a yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. There's some truth to that. Which part? Both. Yeah. But you same. didn't have like low hand parents that were like, do no. it. No. Do it. Support my drug habit. Mm-hmm. I could have been Jason James Richter in, in Free Willy. No way. Yeah, but my mom said it was a bad script and she, I shouldn't do it. Because it was like, she said, she said, and I quote, I don't want you to have to be on the psychiatrist's couch. Over That's it. amazing. She's I protecting guess it, you. It, it didn't seem like it was that uh, terrible of a movie, but, you know, I guess no, it was like it, it abusive, like adults or something. But it was... I don't know that I don't know that that was a bad choice in your mom's I'm okay part. with it. Yeah, I'm totally cool with it. I am, I am Mighty Ducks under you my belt. Been the kid that's that was fine. Like, yeah. yeah. Really jumps over you. Yeah. You know how many people would have made fun? Of? Then I would have had to go into professional to children's whales. school. No, not after watching Blackfish. Black Wa- Blackfish. You, you, yeah. you would have been ostracized out of regular school. Oh man, if you had done free will. Oh, totally. I think of all the Michael Jackson jokes. When you, yeah. the, when you read oh, for yeah. when you read for like a big uh, movie, they they'll audition you and then they'll make you read a different part and they'll make you read a different part. And mm-hmm. like I had, when going for slackers, I had to read my part and I had to, then I had to read Jason Siegel's part and I had to read Devin Sawa's part. Yeah. And you then, know, in my, in my, my second or third callback, you wow. know, when I felt I was up there. So they made Danny read for both that and Willie, I think in the scroll. Oh, oh did you read nice. for, you know what? I, I, he's, you know what that was? That was a fat joke, and that's funny. Oh, it's it was a fat. Funny. I didn't even get it. Yeah. Was a fat joke. Yeah. I saw Jack. No, no, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't react I didn't to that whatsoever. I don't. I don't know. Like like well, well, he was whale. calling me a whale. Now that's I fine. It. I get it. It's funny. Yeah, I screen tested for heavyweights, and I wasn't fat enough, dude. So. Aaron Schwartz, is, Aaron Schwartz is doing pretty well for himself, I would say. Who's Aaron Schwartz? Schwartz? Is he the fat kid in Heavyweights? He was one of the he kids in Heavyweights. He, he was, was also, also on Pete and Pete. He played, he played the drummer Clem, Clem with the sideburns yep. in Danny's it's band. It's too long. I have to go back and watch. <sighs> I've loved that show, guys. Okay. It still holds up. Did you know it was will, magical will... when you were making it? Did you feel... Of course I had a lot was, of fun. Except for being yeah. in Jersey. It was magical, yeah. It's so yeah, fun. See, I had no problem being in Jersey. I got to go... Back Who home was the and girl in it? That, Allison well, Finelli. Allie was Finelli. Ellen? Yeah, she was great. Yeah. She's a really cool person. She was a girl and a friend. Right? But not a girlfriend. That's right. Okay. Now she is a doctor. Really? Yeah, yeah. She saves lives. In, uh, with with child. child. A doctor with awesome. child. Ba- baby's lives, right? Baby yeah, she's doctor? a... And what's Artie doing? Toby acts... He's an actor. A lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he does, does in a lot LA. Of stuff. Next time you go to LA, you should look for him. I'm I'm not going to do that, but um, <laughs> we talk like, about wait, 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 just go look for him. Yeah, no, just he's a just 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 prominent yeah. chin. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> you could you could find. I'm him. going there tomorrow, so I'll add it to my. Are you honestly dinner. going there? Going to LA tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm oh. sure that there's like one man shows and comedy shows, and he's. I think he has worked on Thrilling Adventure Hour yeah. before, at least in the show yeah. that we saw. Yeah. I don't know how often he okay. works with them, but do you he, know that? No. Do you know that show? What is that? Thrilling Adventure Hour. Never. Oh, it's like an old timey radio. It's a fucking gel genius. That's really okay. good. Really good. Yeah. They so, do everything on stage, and they have their script, and they read yeah, it out like yeah, old school. You'll be in LA tomorrow. They'll, yeah, they'll probably give, they'll probably give it to you at the at the airport. They'll be like, they'll agree. And you yeah. have like to audition laid either. in Hawaii. They just hand love you a that. script. I love the idea <laughs> that you could get like a brat here. Welcome to Green Bay. You know, here, uh, welcome. That'd be awesome. You could welcome. You know, you get like one of those. What do they call them? Hurricane glasses down in New Orleans. Yeah. I just went here, to New Orleans. Welcome to Welcome to New Orleans. Here's the your first time last. Here's week. your gallon of alcohol. And how was that without? 
Exactly. Drinking Everyone who was like, you gotta go to this place. I'm like, I, but I don't drink. They're like, I don't know what you're going to do there. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know either. I'm just going to look get, at did cemeteries. You get French toast and donuts and stuff? Because that's what I would do there. I mean, we just Even ate a lot drinking. of food. Yeah, we just went to restaurants and French, ate a lot of French places. Yeah. Just, you can have a parade in New Orleans on your own. Yeah, I just heard that in someone's stand up joke. It's it's a real thing. I heard that. Hannibal Burris has a joke about. Oh, and oh, then I think that's where I know. I mean, that's, that's where, where you, I know and you it can from. just make your own parade. Like, yeah. You can hire a parade for like right. a couple hundred bucks. Not even. I think it's even cheaper than that. God, I think that's ridiculous. Like, I think it's probably to, cheaper in New York, actually. Have... There's more out of work musicians in New York than there are oh my in, New, God, in New Orleans. Yes. You could you, you get a cheaper, you could hire your own cheaper parade. But New York has this bullshit cabaret license stuff that. That's right. You can't be. There's <laughs> all this bullshit in New York. These old I ass laws. I wonder, laws. like, how, what, what, what kind of license do you need to procure to, to be able to sell your wares on, like, Union Square? Like, you know how those if guys have, like, books, little tables that if are it's like. books, you don't need nothing. Really? You yes. can set a book, a book table yeah. anywhere? Yes. First, Why? Ama- first Amendment. What is that? It's the First Amendment. It's to the free, sell books? It's the free dissemination of ideas. Because it's books. Because it's the printed. But you can make money off yeah, selling Yeah, all over New York. You'll see. Yeah, I thought you always had to have the little You can also, as a woman, nope. walk topless anywhere in New York. It's been a lot of high fives given Jeez, out today. All right. A lot of high fives. And yeah. Spirits are high. Spirits are high. And no one, you can't, get, they'll arrest you, but then they'll, but then they'll, they'll have to like, let okay, you go. sorry. It's, like there's some chick that's been arrested like 20 times for doing it, but then she's always Proving gets Proving a like, point, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, is it you, Steve? Oh, it's, 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 you could just it's, walk it's, fucking top, Hey, Marie. Topless. This is the third time this week. Yes, you know, there's a, the topless uh, book reading club in Central a, Park. No, there's an elementary school. Yeah, yeah. That's a real thing. That no, exists too. You got to write down a lot of search Stop terms it. for after the show. <laughs> he's very good. No, there at is no. There is no. No, no. Make you sound I no, I'm telling this. the truth. No, I I'm telling him. the truth. I do. I, I believe you right now. So it combines two things that have really fallen off, and two things that none of us are doing yeah. enough. Re- uh, reading and boobies. that should be the next adventure. Just topless book reading in the park. I just I can't get behind the topless thing. I could go just because I, you guys don't know this, but like w- w- being just topless, you need a bra. Like when I look at women in Africa, I'm not like oh that would suck to live there because of like the famine and AIDS. I'm like I would want to be wearing a bra. You want to distribute bras? <laughs> that everybody. looks painful yeah. on in from a, a sagging boobs point, point of, of view. view. Yeah. Yeah. Think of all the bras they burned back in the '60s if they had just sent them over you could to start Africa. A chair. Charity. Bras for to, Yeah, bra, bras to Botswana. <laughs> bras for Botswana! Oh my God. You could send, you could do. Trillion dollar idea. This is three That's ideas. Three. I really do want to send bras to Africa. That's a great, that would blow their fucking minds. Yeah. Because you don't even know how yeah. good. And take, girls take our Western what ideas. What girls say? Like, I yeah. love taking off my bra, but those girls don't have boobs. But if you do, it's miserable to not wear a bra. Like, it's it's not, like, fun. You just... The, you've seen the pictures of girls in Africa's with their... With their in Africa's? What am I talking <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, yo, I'm, it's in Africa's. Yeah, no, you in know Africa's what I'm saying? You was in Staten Island's earlier. Now you're going... You, I understand what yeah, you're I saying. What, yeah, I know what you're talking but about. I just... Yeah. That's a great idea. I could I could honestly start a charity for bras for Botswana. And you could you could fund it with the money <laughs> that you made Botswana? from your crinkly book it's, Kindle. It's, there's some alliteration There's alliteration. Going on. Yeah. Change huh? your country to a B name and yeah. maybe I'll send you some bras. <laughs> you better believe it. Bras for Britain. <laughs> yeah. They have they enough have, bras. They, they have, have enough, enough bras. bras. Bonnets, they got car boots. They got all kinds of bees. <laughs> wow. This guy. They got funny what were you doing in Japan? Oh, that time? Yeah. Let me guess. You met a girl online. No, no. Mm-hmm. I went mm-hmm. the first time. The first oh, AOL, time. I, AOL chat room. No, the first time I went to Japan, uh, I made a friend in college at SUNY Purchase. Okay, actually, and then I went back to visit her family. Oh no, a friend. I'm lying. Mm-hmm. I'm lying. The first time I went to Japan it was for my uncle's friend's wedding. Okay, and then all the subsequent times I went and stayed with a friend. Do you love it? Japan? Yeah. Hell yeah. The last time, or the second to last time. It was 1999 turning into 2000, and I was sure America was going to blow up, oh, and I, right. and I was going to be a novelty. I'd be like, I would learn Japanese real quick, and then I would just be that funny guy on the comedy show. Like, do they like oh, love job. you over there? <laughs> like, do they love white guys? Yeah, but you have to be like taller. I'm, really? I'm, yeah, I'm not that tall. You're you're taller than I am. They would love you. How tall are you? I don't know. You know. My license says something, but I think I'm five seven and a half. Yeah, I think five we both. I think we both say five nine, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Knicks. The Knicks yeah, have yeah. me listed. The Knicks have me listed so as five better. nine and one eighty, but we both know that. <laughs> I, we don't know what's going on. 
Uh, yeah. I, what do you say? Yeah, you're you're 5'8". I Mike would give is yourself a 5'8". Thank height you. Height measurement. But I was definitely looking at you from sitting on a couch. Perspective. And I'm just... yeah, you're like, wow, he's tall. Oh, no. I mean, you could pick me out of a crowd in Japan, no problem. My, I, I had a great time. My boyfriend's 5'8". I don't have a problem. I'm taller than him. I bet the he loves is, that. He does. He does? He, But he always, I think, always dated girls... Shorter than him, but um, he what was, a breath of fresh air! He was surprised he's like a, that a, a, he was. St- he's very tiny. He's Peter Dinklage, and um, <laughs> score I, game of bones. No kidding! I saw him at my. I he goes to my gym. I have to brag. I saw Peter Dinklage at my gym. It was pretty awesome. Sweet. He Sweet. probably gets called out all the time. He's probably like the only celebrity <laughs> in New York that wasn't on Pete and Pete. Come to think of it, really? Yeah. Everyone went through. Who are some big names? Baby New Earth, uh, oh, wow. Iggy Pop, David Johansson, Michael, Iggy Pop, Michael Stipe, Iggy Pop, yeah, Iggy Michael Pop. Stipe, yeah, yeah. Where All these, it was you like guys a lot are of the rockers. best theme song. That's why. Yeah, that's true. Ever. Yeah. How was your theme song? It was pretty decent. It was, um, it was by Icona Pop. That was a good. There, um, when when that song was in Girls, I didn't I didn't know how to react. That I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't either. I didn't. I didn't, wasn't crazy about that song, but our theme song was like it was fine. It was fitting. And then there's the Demo Lovato was oh, super they about it. Dug yeah. it. Yeah, no, they love that song. But the thing is, MTV. My only issue with them was that we didn't. We were a late night talk show that should have been on every single night, and then everyone would have found out about us. But like we were on once a week. And no, they didn't promote. They didn't have any commercials. So no one even knew. And they only right. aired us once because it was a topical show. They were like, we can't repeat it. You needed momentum. So there was no repeats, no advertising. And right. then they were like, not enough people are watching. We're like, well, why, why not? Yeah. yeah, like obviously. So that was why we did. But anyone who saw it really enjoyed it. I got recognized for like the first time ever last night at Froyo Place. 16 handles. Froyo place? I go to 16 handles like every day. Where is that? Is that on 8th Avenue or something? There's one. I was in Williamsburg, the one right off the Bedford stop. I think there's drugs in that. There's one on Nassau. There's one on Nassau that looks like it was. Yeah, there's some yogurt places that look. It's like from the year 2500 in a space station. They do look like they're trying to be like a futuristic. There's also a futuristic fried chicken place on 30th Street, Koreatown. If you feel in Koreatown? Why are you looking at me? Because are, are you feeling it? Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't need, he doesn't need no, flash. No. Jeremy doesn't need me. Although actually, yesterday, that's an interesting way to put it. it makes it sound like oh, I, yeah, I, didn't I don't. Put either, it, oh yeah, I didn't I did. put it like that. That you, I would never say. How it like long that. You, have you been a vegetarian? For Fourteen years. Wow. Yeah, a long time. But yesterday, I do these things once in a while as a joke, like to my nieces and nephews. I'll just grab a piece of bacon and eat it. And I've only done it twice. Once was like a year ago when I did it to them, and they freaked out. And then yesterday we were eating pizza. We were shooting a sketch, and I. You guys are grabbed, shaking your head. So I sad. grabbed a piece yeah, of pepperoni. I wanted to see it. Yeah, Danny was very upset because Bre- our other friend Brendan, who this is how we met, he saw it, and Danny didn't. And I, I do it for shock value. I thought it was. It was funny. And now, so and how does your body it. react to it? I, d- I died for about seven minutes. Do you feel no, weird? I, I was. I was. Uh, no, I didn't. It was just one piece, and I had Why all this other shit that I was jamming meat? in What's my face. What's the um, reasoning behind that? I just felt healthier because in Ohio, growing up, I in college, all I would eat was like fast food and, and yeah. garbage. So I stopped that and started. All my friends were vegetarians. Did so. you lose like so much weight? Yeah, he, yeah. He yeah, shed the then, nickname Andy Milanakis <laughs> at that point. <laughs> all right, <But> that's <laughs> right. You, you start eating that. like, oh, I don't eat meat, but I'll eat those three Snickers bars and that. Yeah, those bag are of chips Oreos are vegan. That's yeah. my problem. No, so no. it took a oh, while. Now the they adjustment. They're to... vegan. They've are you always sure? been. No, vegan. they haven't. What? Oh, really? Oreo yeah. cookies. Yeah. They... No, no. When I when I went what? to elementary school with a Muslim girl, she was saying that Oreos had lard in them, so she could not have them. Oh, yeah. see, I've always heard that Oreos are like natural, not maybe, natural, maybe but out always in, have been uh, vegan. St. Lou, maybe like west of the Mississippi, there maybe vegan or something like that. I doubt but it. But I think that there's something to that. Like, I think your body did kind of want bacon. I think you want to do it for the shock value, but there's something in you that's like just give us a little bit yeah well that's the, that's the, the applebee's thing. in you yeah the applebee's <laughs> in me no, no no that's the thing though bacon is the gateway is the crossover drug back to non-vegetarian uh, then, then next thing you know you're eating kielbasa yeah that and alcohol mix those two alcohol and bacon and uh, yeah, um, do you, um, you ever get Brooklyn. drunk and you go like oh, i'm just gonna eat some i meat. did i did the christmas oh. at a german place in the village i think they had like everybody singing songs and drinking huge things of beer and they had 
bacon and the sauerkraut and i just gorged i didn't even give a shit i was so drunk and yeah so when, when i'm when i have a few in me and yeah but if you're a vegetarian like most of the times. time it's okay it's not yeah. like you're like you need to yeah. like say 14 years totally it, like no one o- cares it's yeah, okay cares. jeremy you, you don't Plus have to you turn were, in you don't have to turn in your vegetarian anonymous coin it's not gonna get punched my card if i eat pepperoni again well nikki yeah. Thank you so very much oh for hanging God, out with us. Oh my God, this is it? Yeah. yeah. Well, this well, is you, you, we can talk for another going. hour. Yeah, yeah, I would like to this talk. This has been such a joy. Okay, well, you're on. You honest. guys are fun. How long have you been doing this podcast? Does it show? <laughs> you're uh, you're, no, really honestly five. you're number five. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. really good, guys. Yeah, well, I, honestly, I, I was thinking like in the hundreds. Really? really? Yeah, yeah, you have a thing going. Come on. Come on, we would have moved out of a basement apartment by now. If no, it was there's no money in podcasting. You know better. Just ask Todd Barry. Oh, oh yeah, man. what is that? that you is that, should have Todd Berry on your. That's podcast. a reference, right? He's well. You, I, the last the last Todd Berry podcast I listened to you, you were on. Oh, you really? talked about you got hit by a taxi cab. Yeah, I got hit by a car. <gasps> yeah, Crazy. that was nuts. Yeah, I don't recommend it. Yeah. No, no. But I've almost been hit by taxi cab. So like, it's a thing. Like you guys could probably have stories oh, yeah. of almost getting I've, hit. I've been I've been struck in the knee before, and I punched the hood of the taxi yeah. cab. I've been hit by a car a month. And of it. Ha- it it will happen. It. I've hit people with cars when I when I was sixteen. I hit a guy and almost <gasps> killed him. Yeah, oh. I picked up the car and I just slammed him with it. <laughs> Nikki mad. There's a lot more room. There's a lot more room in Missouri. No, <laughs> yeah, there's so much room to just swing your mom's Land Cruiser. Uh, so, um, yeah, be careful out there, guys. Be careful. Yeah, the roads be are careful. still icy, but the spirits Care- are still high, and. Uh, yeah. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Give us some yeah, you got any plugs? plugs? What do you got? Yeah, you got um, some, some plugging. I am going to be on the road a lot coming up. So I've. She's, when is this going to she's be? She's on airing? a flight to LA tomorrow. I'm going to yeah. be in LA this week. Uh, tons of it, shows there, but don't. It should be care about by that. the weekend. Wait, what? It, by the weekend? Okay. Yeah. Well, if it's Friday night, you should come see me in Chicago at the Hideout. Ooh, and yeah. if it's next week, I'm gonna the 23rd through the 25th. I'm gonna be in. Appleton, Wisconsin at Skyland Comedy Club and then the tw- the 28th through the 1st 27th through the 1st I'm going to be in Madison, Wisconsin at Comedy on State Good cheese curds uh-huh. there Yeah, you're doing yeah. the cholesterol tour I aren't know, you? I am It's going to be something Good luck not drinking I know No, in, I'm in, the, in it to In the beer it. capital of the state of the I know there's the no way to do that. you hear what the lady said? She said she's in it to win it. Why don't you back off? I'm going to win it. Did she say she was in it to win it? I yeah. did. When did you say that? Just now? Just, Just now. now. Oh, okay. You weren't, weren't paying attention because <laughs> you were blathering. <laughs> blathering. Great word. <laughs> I have been guilty of that occasionally. Uh, do you read? I, you know, I he do can't read say sometimes. that he's finished a book. Oh, do comic books count? I was going to ask. Do comic yeah, books yeah, count? Yeah, yeah. Oh, graphic graphic East, East, East of West. Novels. Oh, East of West. Is that great? Like, yeah, Lock and Key are just sick, okay. sick novels. Okay, you I'm, read. I yes. think graphic novels are the next thing. Damn, dude. For me to tackle. Mm. Damn. All do right. you read them on like your iPad? You 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 like the smell of a graphic novel. I like to sniff the page. Okay. <laughs> For the listener, Mike thinks that he can speak without a yeah, microphone. You, yeah, you maybe that your five episodes are showing when you lean back. I've <laughs> <laughs> I mean, been away a, a long time. I, I'm you know? in a lot of pain. I actually, I had to, Why? I had to. I got a flat tire on the the old Prius, and I had to pull the yeah thing off for the first time, and it. Took a real fight to get the flat tire. Oh, you're in some pain right now. I was like, I was making phone calls, just inquiring as to was there anything special required to get the the wheel off the car. I took the lug nuts off and they were pristine, and I just like yanked at the wheel for a long time, not wanting to pull the car off the jack onto myself. Oh right! And then it finally like, like you should have called triple No, it finally popped off with a sound. <laughs> you should have called triple No, no, and no. Now you have to call a guys. chiropractor because yeah. he's back those, down. Forget those guys. 36. Just call triple A and they'll give you some back work. They give me. I hope that they give me a Percocets or whatever for the pain, or uh, for the pain. a Z pack. Listen, man, what is it? And we've come full circle. I like it. Thank you very much, Nikki. Thanks, guys. Thanks. It was so good to meet you. Thank you, Nikki. Bye. As another adventure comes to a close, we remember the lessons we've learned. No one gives a shit about Jeremy's vegetarianism. It's true! Dan Tamborelli is sensitive about his weight. No, I'm not. Mike Morona never graduated from college. Nikki Glazer considers brunch annoying. But most of all, your TV brothers will have your back, now and always. 
All right, guys, that's our show. A special thanks to Nikki Glazer for hanging out with us today. Also, we wanted to give a shout out to our friend Seth Olenek and his new book, Funny Business. We love it, and we know you will too. So check him out on his website, setholenick.com. Also, next month, we'll be doing another live show at the SF Sketch Fest. So if you're in the San Francisco area and you're around on February 1st, this is Saturday at 1 o'clock at the Punchline Comedy Club, come out and uh, say hello to us and watch us do uh, another live podcast with Kumail Nanjiani and Emily Gordon. Lastly, if you like the show, please donate to it. It keeps the wheels moving and we really appreciate it.